There is so much you can do with CapCut. So today I will show you five brand new transitions that you need to know about. Let's start with super zoom transition. First open CapCut and then import two videos. Now drag videos to the timeline. You need to record two videos, one from a distance and another up close. Here you can see how my videos look before editing. The first thing you need to do is position the second video above the first one like I did. Now click on the audio tab and then in sound effects section find magic transition. Drag it to the timeline and then position it as I did. Click on the second video and then lower the opacity a bit so that the first video is visible. After that click on the first video and add a keyframe at the point where the second video begins. Then scale and position the video to align the frames. When the sound starts getting louder add a keyframe and return the video to its original position. Now click on the second video and increase the opacity. After that go to effects and in lens section find the chrome blur effect and add it to the timeline. At the point where the sound starts to get louder adjust the effect like I did and add the keyframe. Now add another keyframe at the point where the second video starts. After that at the points where the sound ends and begins adjust the effect as I did. After changes keyframes will be added automatically. For now your video should look like this. Now export the video and remove everything from the timeline. Then import the video you saved and add it to the timeline. Cut the video before and after the transition and then find the motion blur option on the right side. Adjust the motion blur to your liking and then wait for the process to complete. After editing my transition looks like this. This transition is simple and ideal for showcasing your photos in a video. To get started add your video to the timeline and then remove the part you don't need. I used the video in which I took photos so that the transition between that video and the photo looks better. Now add your photos to the timeline. Click on the photo, reduce the scale to 70% and then in canvas option select the background. Repeat the same process with the other photos.
click on the audio tab and then in sound effect section find the Sony camera autofocus sound effect. Now add it to the timeline. Position the effect the same way I did. Remove the part of the photo you don't need, then add the effect again, but this time remove the focus sound. Position the sound effect as I did, then your video should look like this. This transition will blow your mind, and here is what it looks like. First, drag your videos to the timeline. To create this transition you need to record a video like this. Position the video at the transition point, then go to cutout and select auto cutout. You can also create all these transitions on the mobile and web version of CapCut. Now in adjustment adjust the settings so that the colors look the same as in the main videos. Click on the transition tab, then in the basic section find right transition. Place it between your videos and adjust the duration to make it blend seamlessly with the transition. Now click on the audio tab and then in the transition section find the high swishes effect. Add this sound effect to make your transition even better. Remove the part you don't need, then position the effect to match the transition. After editing my video looks like this. Now I will show you where to find and how to use the Neon Transition. To find it click on the library option on the left, then select the transition section. When you scroll down you will see several Neon Transitions. Select the transition that suits your preference and position it above your videos. For now the transition looks like this. To make the black parts transparent we need to use blend mode. Click on the transition and then on the right side you will find blend mode. Now select brighten or screen mode. You can add sound effect to make it even better. After editing my transition looks like this. Motion transition will take your videos to a next level and here is how it looks. First add your videos to the timeline as I did. Click on the second video, then on the right select the rotation opening transition and adjust it. Now find sci-fi bush sound effect and add it to your video. After that export the video. Now remove everything from the timeline and then import the video you saved. Cut the video before and after the transition and then find the motion blur option on the right side.
adjust the motion blur to your preference and then wait for the process to complete. After editing, my video looks like this.